Hey guys, welcome back to Buddy RC. My name is Clay. We're gonna do something a little different today. So we're gonna kind of talk about the eye chargers. We've had a lot of questions in the recent uh, few weeks about eye chargers. A lot of people that are new to eye chargers, and this is gonna be kind of a little tutorial on how to use your charger. As you spent the money, you're like, oh, this is the best charger out there, but then it is a little complicated to get used to because it's not like other chargers out there. So what we're gonna do is do a how to charge, how to balance, and how to discharge all on this charger right here. So let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna use the overhead view. I apologize for the noise. We have the power system on over here. So it's feeding 30 volts right to our iCharger 4010 right here. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the overhead view and I'm gonna kind of explain on how to charge on the 4010. So a lot of the chargers will use the same kind of menu system. So it's not that difficult uh, to show you all of the chargers pretty much with just this one charger. So today we're just gonna do a regular how to charge. So the first thing you wanna do is of course, grab your battery and grab your lead. So the lead I'm gonna be using today is gonna be our universal connector here. Just plug it in black to black, red to red. And then you're gonna grab your battery and we're gonna plug it into this now. This is where things kind of get a little interesting. So as you can see on the side of the 4010, we actually have a 10 uh, pin balance port. So the reason for that is of course, because it's a 10 cell charger, so it can charge up to 10 cells. Well, you'll say, Clay, well, how do I actually, you know, plug it into the side of this? Because there's, you know, it's a 10 cell and this is only a six cell and that's not gonna work like that. So I'm gonna flip it up and show you guys. So the really cool part about these chargers, they built in a little bit of a lip here. Um, so you'll just take the ballot or the balance lead of the battery. You see how we have the negative side here. You're gonna favor this side of the charger right here as it says negative on both ports. As you can see, it says negative here and negative here. So what you're gonna do is plug the balance port right into that. It will fit into there. Now that we have that all plugged in. Oh, hit the wrong button here. Uh, now we have that all plugged in. So I have my balance lead, the negative, all the way to the side of the connector plugged in. As you can see, it's reading from one to six. So let's say you accidentally charge or plug it in wrong. So when you go into the center, you're like, okay, that's my 6S, so I'll plug it into the center. As you can see up at the top here, hopefully you can read that, it actually says error, charge error. Um, or I'm sorry, it says connection error right here on the screen. Make sure you have that on the correct pins, which are these ones right here. Now you can see it's one through six and not three through eight. You wanna make sure the first row is fully filled. If you have a six S, it'll have, you know, the sixth over here. But so if we wanna charge this, we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Now this is a LiPo, so we'll hit LiPo. Now we'll hit uh, tab. And then we will scroll all the way over here to the current. Now this is a 2000 milliamp pack, so we're gonna charge it at two amps. One amp equals 1000 milliamps. So if you can remember that, you can charge just about any battery out there. So a 0.5 is 500 milliamps. It's super simple math. Um, I use it for charging all the time. So we are gonna do two amps and then we're gonna do a normal balance. Now you can do a fast balance um, I, have, I don't really do that. I just use the normal balance. It's way easier. It just works um, and it gets the charge done fairly quickly. Um, so on the cells, you can do auto, which it'll recognize how many cells are in here. Now I leave it on auto normally, uh, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna flip it to six. So that is 22.2 volts. And then for the capacity, it's gonna beep at me. So we're gonna go to 1C, which is 2000 milliamps. So now, 1C, now let me explain 1C. So when you're talking about discharge, C rating is how fast that can get discharged. Now when you're talking about charge current, 1C is one capacity. So if you have a battery that says on the back of it 2C, you can charge up to two times the capacity of the battery. So that is a really nice thing uh, on some of these high-end batteries where you can charge them a lot faster than you know 1C. So you can get it done in a half an hour versus an hour. So let's get back into this. So now that we have our current selected, we're gonna scroll away from that. So the, the way to select it, you scroll over it, highlight it with the red, 
select, and then you can change it from there. And then to back out, you just press down on the button again. So we're gonna go down here to start. Now it'll say, are you sure you wanna run this? Yes, but make sure before you run it that everything matches. So we have a 2000 milliamp 6S and we're only charging at 1C. So we're doing normal balance and it's on LiPo. Now we're gonna hit yes, now we're off charging. So this is now going ahead and charging and balancing it all from this charger. Uh, this is gonna be one of the most accurate balances you'll ever have on a battery. All right, so now that this battery is charged, as I showed you guys on how to do that, we're gonna to go to something a little different. So I have right here a one of the EP Buddy uh, balance parallel boards. Uh, so what you wanna do with that is of course you plug red to red, black to black, same as always. These are six pins in here and a eight pin charging lead. So what you're gonna wanna do is plug that in just like so. Again, you wanna favor the right side of the charger on the pins, just like that. Um, you have exposed pins here, that is okay. That does not, it's not gonna affect anything. That's totally fine. Um, as you can see, it bends it up. Let me see if I can get a good thing here. As you can see right in this area, it bends it up just a little bit so the little hump can get in there. That's the nice part about these chargers. The tolerances are a little looser on that, so you can do that and not have to worry about running, you know, the exact plug that this comes with. So now that we have our paraboard plugged in, you're just gonna do the same. You're gonna plug in, you know, one here, and then you're gonna plug in your balance lead and charge it just the same way as the last time we use this. If you're just charging off of a parallel board, you can plug it in any, if you're only charging one, you can plug it into any, and then into that, and as you can see, it shows up right here on the charger. So with that being said, I'm not gonna charge this anymore because the battery has been charged. Um, so we're gonna go into something even more difficult um, as far as a different plug. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this, go back to the universal connector that we have here. Now we are gonna charge a two cell LiPo with the little OMP M1 adapter. I love this adapter, I use this thing all the freaking time. So I, again, you're going to plug it into the negative port, favoring the negative port, sorry. So you'll plug it in just like that, and it takes a little bit to push it in. That is okay. You are not gonna hurt anything. Just make sure you're not bending the pins. So make sure your pins are, line, are in a line, plug it in, and you're good to go. So now with this, you'll plug it in right here, and now you can plug in your balance port of your M1 battery, and this battery is at 3.7 per cell, so what we're gonna do is we'll charge it. So this is a 300 milliamp 2S. So we'll hit, of course, we're on this channel here. So let me show you how to do that. So we're on this channel. So you're gonna hit this stop start right here. You'll get this menu here. You'll hit LiPo and then same thing. We'll tab on over. You don't wanna charge this little tiny 200, or sorry, 300 milliamp pack at two amps. That would be very, very silly. Um, so I would go down to 0.3. This is also another nice thing about these chargers, just a little side note. I absolutely love that they do um, two decibel points instead of just one. So you can charge at 0 0.51, 0 0.52, you know, 0.53, all that kind of stuff. And so just 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, because sometimes you get those oddball batteries and then you have to charge it a little slower, but this way you get the exact um, milliamp amount that you have in your battery on your charger. So now that we have the little 2S on here, we've selected how big of a, you know, we've got 0.3 amps, we've got 300 milliamps on there. Now we can go ahead and hit charge and hit yes, and we're off charging. So next I'm gonna show you guys how to discharge a LiPo with this charger. Okay, now we have this battery on here, we're gonna go ahead and select LiPo. And now we're gonna go down to discharge. Now you don't wanna run it just yet. Go ahead and hit your tab, scroll on over to your current. This is how you get from this side of the charger to this side, uh, as far as this uh, menu system here. So we're gonna do a two amp one. We're gonna go up here, fix this to 2000 milliamps because that's how big the battery is. And then we're gonna go ahead and come down here because this is a 6S. Go ahead and select 6S. 
and I'm going to do it at 3.65 per cell. Now that is what it will discharge to. So your discharging will come down to 3.5. I'm sorry, this will come down to 3.65 volts per cell. So we'll go ahead and hit start. Are you ready to run? Yep, now we are discharging and it will be done in however long it takes to discharge this battery. So it will tell you once it's done and you'll see on the readout how many uh, volts per cell they are. All right, now that we have all that done, guys, uh, you guys have a really good base to start with with the iCharger to understand on how to use it. This is a very powerful charger. I absolutely love this, this thing. This is what I use to charge all my 6S packs for my big helicopters, um, any of my big 6S packs for my planes. I all, all of them go through my iCharger. Now, again, this is the 4010. Uh, your menu system will look the same. You might have more options or less options, depending on which one you have. Um, the 4010 uh, is a 10 cell charger, so your plug might look a little different um, on the balance lead, but like I said, you wanna always favor the negative. So the black plug on your battery, it'll be easier to see with this, the black plug on your battery, um, you will, face that all the way towards the negative. Not always is it gonna be the case, um, but as far as this one, since the negative side is on the right side, that's what you're gonna favor. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any questions about the eye chargers, let me know, because uh, these are a little overwhelming. These are kind of like the uh, TX-16. When people first get it, they're really overwhelmed because it has so many options. Uh, this charger is unlike any other. It is gonna balance the batteries better. It's gonna charge the batteries better. Um, and it's gonna keep your batteries uh, working for a very long time. So guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.